Hi guys, uh, this is Kat and this is Pinto and today we are going to be doing another uh, scuba dive reacts to videos from movies. I mean scenes of scuba diving in movies. So uh, yeah, you guys liked this one last time so I got a couple more movies now so let's get into it. Okay, so this first one is The Graduate. It's a full scuba diving scene. Is going to give us a practical demonstration of what I... I kind of like old school movies. Getting birthday present. <laughs> and it better work, or I'm out over 200 bucks. Okay, then. Let's hear it now for... And Brock! Yay! Uh, I love their old school Come diving. On. I've always wanted one of those fully circular masks. Oh, it's interesting because it actually has... Um, a spear gun with him as well, which in a lot of places in the world, it's illegal to dive um, with a spear gun. So here in Western Australia, you're allowed to do it, but in Queensland, you can only free dive with a spear gun to spearfish. Um, it's just considered less sportsmanly to do it with a scuba. So yeah, you can kind of see uh, the view that you have. You've got this little view. All you hear is yourself breathing. Your ears are all closed up, so you don't have much outside kind of um, input. That's pretty funny because you wouldn't usually walk forwards. You wouldn't be fully equipped in your house. So he's probably going to do the giant stride entry. got a scuba pro regulator that's the one I would recommend to anyone they're extremely good quality um, but yeah it's kind of funny he's just going out at the bottom of the pool not doing much it looks a lot deeper than just a normal pool though that was weird anyway um kind of like that though it was it was a nice little take of scuba diving. Let's get out of here. Now this other movie is called 47 Meters Down. I mean, there's no fins, so... Uh... Oh, come on, it's the first cave. We're not swimming the whole city. Hi. Cave diving is dangerous. Cave diving is extremely dangerous. I've mentioned it many times oh, before. I really know about this. Look, we come all this way and we don't even see the temple. Really? It's unlike anything yeah, you've ever seen before. If you doubt, you shouldn't go, you shouldn't let peer pressure kind of force you into doing something because if you are uncomfortable then it's not a good idea. Years ago I used to go all the time with dad but I've never been in caves before. Diving years ago you should have a refresher. Bike, right? I mean, it's not like riding a bike there's a lot of things that can go wrong and it's your life on the line. So this is just already we have so many red flags. Um, they dove years ago they're not feeling confident about it. Just remember, keep your movements nice and small. Last thing you want to do is kick up silt down there. That's very true. So you don't want to be kicking up silt, but for that reason, you should be putting down rope the whole way that you're cave diving. Yes, teacher. Nicole, be serious. Either you do as I say, or... Yeah, people sometimes call me, you know, like I'm too serious or something. So that would be me, in a way. Um, Oh, now I'm curious what happens. Ooh, 47 meters down. I think I've heard that it doesn't end too well, but just based off of that little scene where we have so many red flags going. So we have someone who hasn't dived in years, but has done it a long time ago, so it should be fine. First red flag, you have to do a refresher. Second thing, um, there's people in that group who are not feeling confident about it and who don't think it's a good idea. Yes. 
that is a very valid point. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, then you shouldn't be doing it. Three, I don't think any of those girls, apart from that one, maybe has had cave diving experience and she was kind of trying to lead the group. But again, sometimes it's really hard to be in charge of your fellow divers if they're friends or their family. Because your friends and family will actually listen to you less than your students or strangers would, even if you're experienced a dive master or an instructor, because they think they know better. And I know, for example, right now, my partner is a massive diver, so I'm just imagining if we ever went diving into quite um, deep situations or things that he hasn't been certified for and I want to certify him for that It would be a lot harder for me to teach him than if someone else were to teach him just because um, The familiarity can kind of make it difficult to teach someone so that's just a little um, side note I'm kind of curious what happens. Maybe I should um, Maybe I should watch the whole movie. Let me know what you guys think um, and No spoilers because it looks kind of interesting Stop before we get back to the sharks uh, and the underwater scuba diving. If you want to do something to help the oceans, a great thing you can do is minimize your plastic use. One way you can minimize your plastic use is get yourself a plastic free razor. So Leaf Shave has razors for men and women. They're plastic free. They're relatively not expensive considering how many um, razor blades you get. You can just swap them out at any point and keep shaving for a fantastic close shave, which is not a safety razor, so it will keep you feeling nice and smooth without any fear of cutting yourself. So head on over there, get yourself a 10% discount. Now let's get back to the video. All right, the next movie I have is Hard Hat Diver in Trouble. We're back to Baywatch, if you guys remember from our previous reacting to movies. Baywatch was one of my favorite because it was just ridiculous. Water now, you gotta help him. He's over here. Okay, so she's getting all equipped. They're heading over. Where'd you get the ring? We borrowed it. So you did. Don't throw it. Not like this. I'll talk to you guys later. Whatever you do, don't stop pumping. Probably pumping air down into it. It's interesting, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, it's like a hookah dive system, right? So instead of going with um, compressed uh, air in your tank, you have compressed air pumped down to depth. So it gives you more freedom and stuff. Also, that entry, way too dangerous. You would not risk that for a rescue mission just in case something would go wrong. You wouldn't jump from such a height. Uh, and here you can see um, it's a commercial diver, he's got the full equipment, and he is stuck under some ropes uh, and net. That is why you should always carry a dive knife to get yourself out. Yeah, he looks pretty panicky. If you're a commercial diver though, you will be trained to deal with these situations. So what's going on here? So he's got air escaping from his mask. Oh, and he has torn his suit on sharp objects and his suit is depressurizing. That is not ideal. And it's filling up with air. Oh no. So I don't actually know how these full face helmets uh, work. I've never dived in one because they are for commercial divers or old school diving. So yeah. Um, he's trying to open it up to probably help him buddy breathe. Ah! What's gonna happen? <laughs> So he'd be holding his breath that whole time. So he's staying relatively calm, which is good. They're trying to help him out. But all diving equipment tends to have like quick release and easy release mechanisms in it just in case there is a dive accident. So you want to be able to quickly remove and replace. So they managed to get it off. They gave him the Aki, the alternate air source. So now he's breathing off of one of their tanks. You see they have a knife, so they're cutting him out of it. I've never watched Baywatch. I feel like I should have. It's fine. Yes! They got his foot out! They have so many weights on. It would be so cold there. I'm guessing it's California? Uh, the water there is like 17 degrees. As we saw from the previous video where they were swimming amongst kelp. Yep, so they pulled him out, they're taking him up to the beach. It's a successful rescue mission, I'd say. Those helmets are so heavy. Hey, good job, you two. 
successful rescue um, apart from the entry into the water um, it was pretty well done they tried to stay relatively calm they went in a buddy pair they gave him the alternate air source they got him out with the use of a knife so that is why you actually have a knife underwater it's not for stabbing sharks or something it's uh, a cutting digging or prying tool and in case you get entangled any in anything to be able to get out of it uh, and then let's do one more which is the Meg um, scuba diving scene. Ooh. Now, I'm not a big fan of shark movies because it makes sharks look like deranged murderers. Um, which they're not. They're vital sea creatures, but the Meg, I guess, is f fictional shark, but I think it wouldn't help with the shark hysteria. So please stop making killing shark movies, please. We need to not kill sharks. You know, I'm not a big fan of shark movies. It just perpetuates um, the idea that sharks are killer machines uh, while we actually need them to protect our oceans. Right now, horrible things are happening in the Galapagos 
thousands, millions of sharks are getting uh, their fins chopped off and Galapagos is one of the last kind of less touched wildernesses and a very vital place for um, sharks and a whole variety of marine and land creatures um, to kind of stay protected in this day and age. So not ideal. So if you could go and try and support, share, let people know, vote for, you know, governments or people in, in your parliament who are going to protect our oceans. Check out the new video coming out, uh, the new film coming out from Envoy Cull, all about the shark culling happening in Australia, which is the longest running marine cull in the world, as well as check out the Ocean Pancake um, uh, podcast, where you can just stay up to date with all things marine conservation and sustainability. I haven't uh, interviewed a couple people for a while, so if you have anyone you'd like me to interview, please let me know down below. Um, thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, thank you to those of you guys who want to support me. Uh, if you want to help me out to continue the work I'm doing, it would mean the world to me. If you come, could become a patron, link is in the description, or get yourself a Plastic is the Killer t-shirt. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.